you venture away from the picturesque fishing villages of Cornwall and head inland towards the wild moors, you will find places rich with Cornish culture and history that are often hidden. Liscard, with its eclectic range of people and its Henry Rice architecture, has a rich vein of history waiting for you to explore. The Town Museum is where Liscard's pulse of life has been carefully recorded. This magical place is packed full of treasures, each giving a fascinating insight into the history and culture of Liscard and the surrounding area. Um, the role of Liscard Museum is to collect local history so that we can bring it to you um, in what is a free museum. Um, and that's really important that, that um, it's, it's somewhere where people can come and research, um, they can come and join as volunteers and learn about how we manage um, the museum, how we ensure that the objects that are, are loaned to us or that are given to us um, are kept to the required standards. Keeping history is a really important part of the community going forward because we're keeping it not just for um, the children that are around today but for their children. As you'd expect with a Cornish town, the association with mining is particularly strong. The connection with the past also links into the future as the Scard is one of the gateways into the World Heritage Site for mining. The museum celebrates that heritage with its vast array of items connected to the industrial past. So this cabinet's uh, new this year. It's been developed by one of our volunteers. Um, and what he's done is he's brought together photographs and objects from the collection that uh, relate to mining in the local area. Upstairs we've got um, a much larger exhibition on mining and minerals. But what this shows is it's the tools that act the actual people who are working on the mines would have used along with some fantastic photographs and information about those people and the mines. The uniqueness of Cornish mining and the geology of the area makes Cornwall and its people synonymous with tin. As a result, the Scard Museum is home to Cornwall's largest tin plate toy collection. The collection, loaned to the museum by Liscard local Phil Chapman, is extensive. Here at Liscard Museum we have a lot of tin plate toys on collection probably the largest collection on display in Cornwall. Toys from many different makers from around the world. Uh, we've got our Tryon collection, which is probably one of the largest. We've got Metoy as well. We're showing from tin plate to plastic as well, how things would have changed around. And later on in the 60s, as more TVs came out, TV related toys were pushed in the shops for children to buy. One of our most famous cars here in the museum is the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang pedal car made by Pines of Italy. This is only one of 12 cars ever made. One other character Ian Flynn was most famous for was his secret agent 007 James Bond and we're lucky enough here in the museum to have the golden gun from the film The Man with the Golden Gun. Uh, the gun strips down into all its components, the cigarette lighter, the pen and the cufflinks. Um, in the film it's a million pound shot there's only two guns like this on display, one here in the museum and the other one is in the Spy Museum in London. The toy collection, we're going into our fourth year now. Um, it's grown each year more and more popular, more people come in and remembering the toys. Uh, we've also got Colin Gregory displaying some of his rare toys this year, some Mark Klin uh, battle cruisers dating back to the early 1900s, some Britons, lead figures. Um, just something to make it a little bit different. Phil's quest for something different has led him on an exciting journey, culminating in a surprising and impressive addition to the museum's toy collection. This Dalek is a fan-built working model inspired by the iconic Daleks of Doctor Who. It has now found a new home at Liscard Museum. Well, for the last 20 years, it's been sat in a shed. Um, prior to that, it came from up near Oakhampton from a chap that worked for the BBC prop department. And he had the Dalek with some other Doctor Who memorabilia. Now we think the Dalek's a 1966 um, version because of the base 
and what we've been told. Um, we've had to do some restoration work on this one because like I said, it's been sat in the shed for 20 years. Uh, the bottom was wet, made a new base up for it and uh, reinforced the inside. The Dalek comes in four pieces. You've got the top of the head, the center piece, the middle and the base. Now this piece would have come off here and the person would have jumped inside. Inside there's wires for the lights to work, a little switch to make the lights flash for wet to indicate the dialect was talking. Um, there's rods inside as well to make all this move. This new and unique exhibit is the ultimate toy. Whatever your reaction to this exhilarating model, be it a smile or goosebumps, it is sure to fire the imagination of all ages. The idea is it's social history, yeah. but which it has got a place because it allows families to talk about their, um, their shared experience. 